James Cunningham with Raising Cunningham's, and today I'm going to talk about those two girls over there, somewhere over there. Those two are two dairy cows. Their names are Hazel and Debbie. And then there's a steer with them. That's ketchup, because I put ketchup on my burgers, but it looks like dipped his nose in mustard. Um, and today I'm going to talk about dairy cows. I am mainly going to talk about training the dairy cows because we got Hazel and Debbie when they were calves. They were bottle fed from someone else, but we got them and they have been good. They haven't hurt anybody, which is good. And we've been like growing them to be used to us um, all the time. And as you can see, it's worked pretty well. They're pretty well behaved. Hazel, got, Hazel has an attitude sometimes, but. She's a good girl, and I'm going to talk about training them to be friendly to people and getting them ready for this milk stand, because that's the phase we're in. The number one thing you need to know about cows, um, any cows really, is they're very curious creatures. So they are going to want to sniff your shoes. They're going to want to chase the dogs. They're not going to try and hurt anybody, because that's not what they want to do. They just want they're just curious they want to explore the world so if they get a chance to get out of their pasture they're going to go sniff the tree they're not going to eat the tree they're going to go sniff it almost has leaves on it and leave it like your selfie hazel enjoys selfie videos oh yes 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 i see that yeah oh i told you they're curious creatures the second thing you need to know when you have cows, really any type of cows, but especially dairy cows, or bottle cows, anything like that. When you get them, no matter how good you think they may be, they could still get spooked by a, something else that they haven't seen before. Maybe it's a dog, maybe, maybe it's just like a cat, but they could get spooked and they're gonna run in any which way. It could be another person, um, but they could hit you. They're not gonna try to, but that, does happen to a lot of people. It hasn't happened to us, but you always need to be sure they're not going to get spooked and always be watching. Like when they put their head back to lick themselves, they'll swing it back and they could hit you. They're not going to try to, but it does happen. And you always, no matter how trained they are, you always have to be careful for things like that. There's Debbie back there. Since Hazel has had a very long time with the camera, this is Debbie. Oh yes, like I said, very curious. She is a very sweet, she's a little sweetheart. She is a, I forgot to say this, Hazel is a Holstein Jersey mix, this is what we think. And then Debbie is just a Jersey, that's what we think. And then Ketchup over here, he's a steer, but he is very sweet and nervous a lot of the time. Okay, but yeah, here's something about De Debbie. Hi, baby. What do you think? <laughs> There's Mr. Ketchup and Copper. Now that you know some things about cows, mostly all cows, um, we're going to get to a little bit of like the training part. And when they're, yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Okay, so this is a very quick, short clip of all three phases of training your dairy cows when they're young. And phase number one is as soon as you get them, put some halters on, work on leading, Okay, so number one, phase number one is, hold on, I want to make sure I can see Deb behind, or Hayes behind me. There you go. Um, phase number one is, as soon as you get them, put some halters on, get them used to you, feed them a bucket of mineral, or not mineral, alfalfa cubes, sweet feeds, something like that. Make sure they do have mineral, because you got to do that for all animals. Um, get a lead on them, walk them around. They don't usually like being walked around that much, so be careful with them. Um, and if you have multiple of them, you could probably do different buckets for each of them because 
they'll tend to fight over it sometimes, depends on your cows. Um, and just kind of get them used to you and get used to them. Yeah, that's the first phase. The second phase is just getting with them and rubbing them, like under the belly and on the hind legs, and just petting them up, petting them, loving on them, getting them even more used to you, getting them used to you being close to them, being low to the ground with them, just things like that, and make sure you can really trust them. Phase three is gonna be just coming up and rubbing the udders or in between the hind legs and just make sure that they're not some will be can kickers where they'll if you're down there they'll kick the bucket of milk over um but just be making sure you know if they are because they'll definitely show you that and um just things like that and yeah just rubbing the udders making sure they're fine with that yeah i'm going to show you how to do that in a second so i can get my brother from Easy, Hazel. She's licking me. Oh, hello, kid. Hey, don't eat the phone. Okay, so um, for rubbing their udders and stuff, you're going to want one person petting them on the head. Unless you have a stall ready, then you could probably get them used to the stall, too. We don't have a stall ready yet, so we couldn't do that. Um, but just have some, one person up close to the head here, just loving on them, keeping them facing one way, usually out straight. Hello there, yep, she agrees with this. Oh, easy girl. Easy. She really likes selfie videos. You're a good girl. Um, just get one, one person, you can have a brush brushing her forehead, just kind of holding her head in one place so she can't swing and hit the person sitting down next to the udders. And you're just gonna sit down here. Oh, easy. She loves her selfie videos. And you're just gonna sit down, you're just gonna give her scratches and loves um, in between the legs and just massage her udder, I guess. And yeah. Now time for the cow video. <laughs> Thank you.